All right, so I'm not trying to destroy your hope at all because at the end I'm going to give you the answer, the solution. But I'm going to let you look at the, I'm going to let you see what I see. I'm going to let you see what I see on a daily basis. And the only hope is Jesus. That's the, I'm telling you the end before I start. The end from, from the beginning. So if you think about your car, it's falling apart. The tires, the motor, the engine, the transmission, everything's falling apart. You think about your house, it's decaying. The roof, everything's decaying, everything's falling apart, right? If you think about what we're in, especially the unsaved and the uh, system that most people don't see, but it's a box within a box within a box within a box. The denominations are a box. The political parties are a box. You're born from a box and you go to the grave in a box. So you're born from a box, you live in a box, you travel in a box, you ship your products with a, in a box. Speaking of products, most what is life mostly? You're moving stuff around. You're moving your toothpaste around. You're moving your furniture around. You're moving stuff around. You're moving your body around. You're, you're, you're moving your clothes around your washing machine, your dryer, it's just stuff. Even if you were out in a teepee, you gotta carry, you know, I see homeless people all the time in, in the kind of little work I do. And they're moving their coat around and their backpack and their hat and their shoes and their, I'm looking at two right now, but they both have backpacks. So they're carrying, who knows what's in their backpack, but they're carrying stuff around. You're just like the homeless. You're just like the Indians carrying around your your bed, your teepee, and all that on a horse, you know. But you're just doing it with a car with horsepower. You're doing the same thing an Indian did with horses, but you're doing it with horsepower in your car. But you've got to maintain that horse and feed it and take care of it. But it was actually easier to maintain the horse because you just let it go out, out in the field and eat, you know. But you got to maintain your car. Now, let's take it a little bit further. Let's look at the negative that you're in. Your skin is just like a snake. It peels off. The dead skin's peeling off. Your hair is dead skin. Your fingernail is dead skin. Your mortal body's going back to the grave. Mortal. Your mortgage is dead if you don't pay it. It's a mortgage until you pay it off. It's dead. It's not yours. It's a dead system. The money is a debt money system. The harder you work, the more in debt you go because as you work 40 hours or whatever you're doing to make that money, they're devaluing the dollar every day. That should just take away all hope about the system. Now, there are solutions, and I'm going to, one of them probably is Bitcoin, and another solution would be gold. And another solution would be create like a painting or create something that increases in value. Maybe do 10 paintings and that's it. And it'll increase in value if you're a good painter or whatever it is. You could build a house, rental property, whatever, run a business that creates a product. But even if you run a business, you've got to have slave workers and you feel sorry for them. They don't know. They're not awake. The debt money system is a slave system the more you work the less it's worth the more you save the less it's worth they're de they print more money which devalues the dollar anytime you print money you devalue it if you're playing on a, a <clears throat> what's the name of that board game monopoly so let's say you're playing monopoly and you you got ten thousand dollars and then all of a sudden they said wait a minute let's add some more money to the monopoly game then your value of your dollar is not as much because they devalued it by printing more money or adding more money to the monopoly game it's a it's a it's a game now let's take it even further than that every day's a repeat there's nothing new under the sun what happened before is happening now your grandparents died, your parents are going to die, you're going to die, your children are going to die, 
the same storyline repeats every day. The sun goes up, the sun goes down. The dirt is right there. You're looking at it every day. Dust to dust, earth to earth. You're going back to the dirt. It's very depressing if you look at it from the natural. You got all these people who are greedy and selfish and killing and fighting to try to get ahead, get rich, steal, kill, and destroy. All they're thinking about is the earth plane. And they're trying to pull you into it by devaluing the dollar. So the system itself is doing everything under the sun to make you stay focused on the earth plane. Now, the only way you're going to escape it is see past it, but you got to get a you got to get by you got to cut the noise off the music the tv you got to start thinking you got to think outside the box so they, there's a box for everybody if you go on instagram they're posting stuff that they think you want to see the ai program which is the ai flesh mind now think about what the ai program is the ai program is just a, it's just a repeat cycle it's trying to give you what it thinks you want temptation whatever your eyes see look whatever you look at on your screen they can follow your eyes they know what draws your okay so let's say you focus on something for three minutes or two seconds or three seconds you focus on a tree for uh one second and then they they put they put a picture of a tree up for one second and you focus on that for one second and then they slide a picture of some woman with a painted face and you focus on that for five seconds and then they then they throw up another screen focuses on uh, how to get rich quick scheme and you focus on that about uh, four seconds maybe ten seconds and then uh, they just throw another screen up and whatever you're focused on the most they know how long you look at that and gaze upon it and they try to give that to you the ai the ai program is the ai devil the devil was knocked down the devil is not aware that he's defeated now think about that the devil's a defeated foe and he's doing everything he can to get back to heaven possessing the human trying to get the human to, to, to make synthetic humans. The devil's trying his best to get out of this thing, to become self-aware again, to be conscious with the God consciousness. But he's dead. He's a defeated foe. He's dead. He's headed to the, the lake of fire. And so what is man? what is the devil? The devil is nothing but a reflection of your flesh mind. And what is your flesh mind? It's the AI machine. The fake consciousness. Yeah, you might be able to use logic. Yeah, the devil can use logic. But there's a difference between an AI computer using logic and becoming self-aware and conscious of the Holy Spirit. It's two different worlds. Yeah, they can repeat what you say. They can mock you. They can repeat you. You know, if they're raised in the church, they're going to know the terminology. They're just going to say what you want to hear. This is how the sociopath works, the psychopath. They give you what you want. They say what you want to hear. Your best friend is going to hold you accountable. The person that really loves you is going to keep putting you back to the Bible, putting back to eternal truths, tell you the hard stuff, show you your blind spot. If you got a blind spot, see, if you show somebody their blind spot, they get mad at you and they run away. They run away, but you're actually their best friend. They can't see their blind spot, but you can. I had a few people online that helped me see a blind spot. One of them, she she pretty much helped me see that I was trying to rescue these women that I was dating. I was trying to rescue them, but I'm and and she, I don't know how it re- was re- revealed itself, but I think she saw it. I didn't see, it. but it was idolatry. I can't be Jesus for somebody else. They got all I can do is point them to Jesus. I can't rescue people. I can help them along the way. I can try to point them on the right path, but I can't save them. And that go that went back to my childhood where I had uh, uh, people in my family, somebody in my family who was always victim, always sick, always a victim, and it's like tried to get you to. You know, they're playing on you to get you because 
because you love your bloodline when you're younger you you were born into it and you you try to help them and then you fall into this pattern where you're going to try to be their savior and you can't you can't say it. they don't want to be saved they would have why did you get saved before they did and they're older than you because they don't want to be saved they want you they want a vampire off of you and then when you no longer let them vampire they go away all the people you try to show them their blind spot and you try to help them and you hit them in the face with a two by four and say look here's your blind spot this is what you're doing wrong and they get mad and run away there's very there's some very few about 0.001 percent you give them their blind spot and they see it and they wake up and they say praise god thank you you helped me see iron sharpens iron so does the countenance of man man so when you sharpen somebody and you show them their blind spot you you show them the path of destruction that they're on you show them their ignorance you show them their box mentality that they're in a box a denominational box you show them the truth and you try to wake them up and knock them out of the box and the blind spot and the delusions that they're in the lies they're believing and you hit them hard and they wake up and they become your best friend because you've shook them out of their delusion you know but you didn't do it the holy spirit speaking through you did it so when you do when you experience that that's hallelujah season you know that's hallelujah day that's a that's a blessing and so many people are in delusion even saved people there's a lot of saved people in delusion i know i was about all, i was in a delusion about these uh legalistic preachers for a long time I, and, and I was just like them they, they go around saying can you believe how bad the world is oh no it's the, the raptures are getting ready to happen today it's always been bad and it's always gonna it's gonna get worse because it's the world well, I'm just so depressed the world is so bad the world's always been bad be happy Jesus overcame the world. Greater is he that is in you than he is in the world. The world's going to get worse. Why be depressed about it? God told you, and it's going to get worse. Instead of being miserable about it, be happy that you have the truth and you escaped it. But most of these people are still caught up in it. And they're still trying. They're trying to strive. This is what I'm saying. You're trying to strive to get ahead financially with the wrong tools. They're devaluing your dollar. You're not going to get ahead unless you build something, or unless you create something. Write a book. you got to have something that's yours that has value because they're devaluing. Even if you create something, they're going to steal it. If you create a free energy device, they're going to take your plans and steal it and make money off of it. You've got to wake up. The displace, there's no hope. It's just dirt and it's water. And it repeats. The sun comes up, goes down. There's nothing new under the sun, the Bible tells you. It's just a repeat. It's a copy machine. You're in a copy machine. You're in a spiritual copy machine. And so you're going to either be choosing to be a copy of the devil in bitterness and pride and unforgiveness and anger and greed and selfishness and hating your neighbor, hate your brother, or you're going to be a copy of Jesus. And so you're going to be either the negative, a copy of the devil, or you're going to be a copy of Jesus, which is love, joy, peace, goodness, meekness, temperance, faith. See, this is, this is how you can uh, forgive anybody or love anybody. And I'm not talking about love them in the, I'm talking, the human forms. I'm talking about God's love. So you got somebody who's uh, totally, they might even be reprobate. They, you got somebody who's totally on the wrong path, okay? Thank God you didn't choose that path. And if you did, you got rescued out of it. Thank God for his mercy and grace that he pulled you out. So when you look at somebody else, they could be your enemy, they could be harassing you, they could be the witches, the warlocks, whatever, the secret societies. They're stuck in a path that you could have went on, but by the grace of God, God pulled you out of that. 
you can see past the the Freemasons, the Jesuits, the Kabbalists, the fake Jews. You can see past the 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 drama, the Draco Ma drama, up and down sine wave, the repeat. You can see past the AI program of the devil. You can see past the beast, the Therion. In the book of Revelation, talks about the beast. They want it. Everybody worships the beast, the Therion. You can see past that. Even when they cut your, Jesus says, forgive them. They know not what they do. So even if they cut your head off in tribulation, if you're saved, you, you'll be raptured out. But those who get saved after and hear this, even if you get your head cut off in the tribulation, you know it's not them. They're deceived. They're lie, they, be, they believe the lie. They believe the lie. The jig is up, people, and you can be happy because it's you already won. You're not a part of the system. You're outside the system in Christ, seated in the heavenlies in Christ. Christ in you, Christ in God, you're in Christ, Christ in you. You're, you're, a, you're outside the system. So financially, you know it's a debt money system, so you're not going to try to make money the way that the system tells you. You're going to have to come up with a new plan. The way you do it is go buy you some rental property or do a creation or create a business. And if you do get slave workers under you, treat them nice. The Bible talks about it in Ephesians. Treat your uh, employees nice. They're really slaves, yeah, to be honest with you. If you work for somebody else, you're a slave. You know? So that you're supposed to treat your slaves nice. 